What's going on? It's Winslow. If you've been here before, welcome back. If uh, it's your first time, strap in. It's going to be a little rambly today. Got a question from a, a really famous person, as in Simon, also known as Mill Street, who runs the Last Week Liquid podcast. Welcome back to the Last Week Liquid podcast. And he asked me, um, what's like my creative mindset when stepping into the studio and starting to work on track? So I feel like... So I feel like I figure let's just chat about that. And, you know, before we get going, just quick warning is going to be a little stream of consciousness. Me just talking a little ranty, maybe. But uh, I try to keep it concise. Try to keep it concise. Anyway, let's get into it. So nine and a half out of ten. I feel like that's that's generous. Nine and a half out of ten times I come in here with an idea first before anything that's kind of where i am now like before i would just like i don't know not force myself but i find i would have to get started messing around then i get an idea and now it's more or less like oh i have this melodic idea maybe i hear the whole melody maybe i hear just kind of chords or maybe i have like kind of a general idea of what i want to make maybe it's like really groovy or swingy or uh something dark or something melodic or there's some kind of something i normally don't come in here like so what am i going to do today that kind of feeling but on that half time out of that 0.5 out of 10 times i still do come in here no idea and i kind of start kind of work through my steps to gain inspiration i'll talk about that in a second but normally it's like a melodic idea it's uh yeah, melodic idea, or I want to work on a drum break and get some kind of sound. For example, Mumbles of Grace, and I talked about it before, like that main piano kind of riff, like the da 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 da. I had that idea. Like, I wasn't kind of half asleep. I was like in the bed waking up. I was like, I know I want to work on something today. So I was kind of just laying there. Then that came to me. Then four hours later, there's just that idea in like an eight bar loop. Long story short, I could never finish that track that day or work on it, but like months later came back to it. Anyway, it always sparks from an idea. And then from that idea, I come in, open up the DAW, start fooling around, usually on a piano, like Spitfire, um, like Labs piano is always just like on my template. Not necessarily to use, but to just play around, play around a keyboard see what comes out of it. Normally I get like the chord progression down after I stick the main melody in there and then start adding the bass line, which normally just goes with the chord progression before I start doing all the little um, kind of fine tuning, making a riff out of it instead of just the solid chords. And then from there it's usually drums, my maybe some placeholder drums from like a track I already, done, already did, or maybe I'll just like take a quick break, come back full on, concentrate on a break loop, But at that point, it's like the idea is very much, I know where I'm going for, you know? Because once you get your big idea down, the melody, the overall chords, the overall progression or ideas you want to go through, you know, just kind of filling in the blanks, like 16 bars there, 16 bars there, 32 bar section, then we got some transitions, then we have this and this and this and that. But that main idea is what I try to come in here with before anything happens. And normally I'm pretty good about that. So non-technical, or non-musical things I try to keep in mind. And it happened, I kind of came to this, I don't know, epiphany, like a year or two ago. It was Men I Made Love Letters, which came out on Solvent um, 2020. Feels like forever ago, but it also feels like last week. It was just kind of the idea of just let go, like let go of whatever intentions or whatever, you know, Things that kind of normally hold you back, like you overthink it and just kind of in the way I'm kind of talking now, but stream of consciousness, stream of consciousness production, as in just let ideas fly. And after 20 minutes, after half an hour, after an hour, so on and so forth, just kind of see where you are, reevaluate, look at things big picture instead of like the eight bar loop, eight bar loop, eight bar loop. Or this the one eight bar loop you've been stuck on because you know how that works. You get a good loop going and it's like, 
So what do I do with this? And then your brain is just like, yeah, but this loop's pretty cool. But yeah, I need drums. No, but this loop though, this loop is, yeah, it's that vicious cycle. So it's kind of keeping an idea of the end results going to be a track, whether I like it or not, whether it goes, gets signed or stays in the folder. The whole result is to just let the ideas happen. Just let them go. Happen. That's how love letters happen and like a bunch of tracks around that period. Um, there's another one called it Time Flies Loud. It's been in a couple of mixes, never came out. It'll be on Patreon soon though. Haha. <laughs> so uh link in the description. But it's very much let go. And it's tough to do. But since then, that's kind of how all my tracks have been. Just kind of head base, just let go creative vomit into the DAW, stream of consciousness, drum breaks, sounds, let's see what happens. I never really, I'm like, I need this thing and I need this thing and I need this sound right there and I need that. And if that doesn't happen, then I'm scrapping the whole idea. No, that's weird. That's what it happens though. I'm just not that, but I feel like that works for me because my tracks come out all goofy. Mumps of Grace, it's goofy. Snooze button roller, goofy. Breaking news. That's kind of pinnacle of my st stupidity, but it's a good track though, right? But again, it's about letting go. Oh, here it is. It's all about vibes over technicals. Vibes over technicals. Does it feel good? Does it feel right? Am I getting the achieved feeling, emotion, um, vibe? Cool. Don't worry about the, the drum break needs to fit just like this and I need to EQ this and blah, blah, blah. It's just like, no, I need to get my head bob and I need to get moving. So I need to let go of all the production nonsense and just focus on the ideas because the ideas is what makes it. Like anyone can learn to EQ a snare. It's really tough to make like a convincing hook element. I hate that word, but a convincing hook or convincing bass line. You can have a really sick sound, but that doesn't mean your bass line like riffs and grooves and all these things. This is making sense so far. Again, it's, it's just for me at 100% is just let go, see what happens. You know, that's what I really try and focus on when I come in here. And in the last couple of years, it's really helped. Like it's kind of just like, it seems vague, but within that vagary, you find your kind of way to traverse that. And for me, it's like, and I probably, again, stream of consciousness, but I hope you get something from this. It's sit down, have a little riff, see where that riff goes. Sometimes it turns out to be something like snooze button roller, which is light and groovy and rolling. And then sometimes you get like a mad intense, still groovy, but dark, warehousey feeling, late night, blah, 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 blah. You get that. I mean, that's a bit rambly, but that's, that's it. Like, have an idea, see where that idea goes, just roll with it, reevaluate every so often to see where you ended up, compare that with what you started with to where you began, or to where you began, and what you ended with in that session, and just carry that momentum forward. Like, the end result, should be a track that feels like you, sounds like you, is what you wanted. How you got there, it's always gonna be different. The fact remains that you're gonna get there. So you might as well get there, the path of least resistance, which is stop thinking about it, just let it happen. And that's all I got, <laughs> word vomit. But that is really, that's what goes through my head. I really love to know your process though. Like, let me, like, are you very analytical, like checklist? Like it's gotta have drums like this and this and this. Or are you just like, in two hours, I better have something, <laughs> you know? But uh, yeah, as always, Ben Winslow. Links in the description for all the things I normally plug. I'll see you next time.